Hey guys, this is Locke. In this video, I'm going to talk more about PvP. Um, I already did one video talking about it and I went through all the heroes, uh, all the legendaries and legendary plus heroes and talked about what makes them good and not. Um, if you haven't already seen that video, I highly recommend checking that out first because uh, this is going to be like a long discussion on PvP and it's going to be split into like many different videos. This particular video is actually going to talk about the spike problem. I'm going to talk about what it is and why you should care about it. So. Um, if you want to do well in PvP, I highly suggest you figure out how to deal with Spike. And the reason I say that is not because Spike is going to be there all this time. Uh, we actually know that Spike actually falls out of favor uh, within you know some period of time. It might be faster or later depending on the releases of the Korean server because you know in Korea they released heroes after a certain period of time, but in global they seem to have expedited the release of these heroes. So depending on you know. When those heroes get released, Spike might fall out of favor even quicker than we thought, or, you know. But either way, wh what we know is Spike is falling out of favor. However, the problem of Spike will continuously be there. It's not actually going away when he falls out of favor. Um, and the reason for that is because, uh, well, what makes Spike so difficult to deal with? It is his passive, right? Uh, it's this, like, immortal passive, this one, which basically gives him immortal for like 11 seconds or 10 seconds or you know whatever level you have it at and it also increases his attack and attack speed um so even if spike falls out of favor this passive is still going to be there and it's going to be there in the form of this accessory the ring of rage or like you know the necklace earrings basically this rage set if you just read the effect of what this does um it also grants you you know immortality and increases attack speed attack and ultimate skill gauge so this is even worse than um than uh, Spike's passive because it additionally also gives you uh, ultimate skill gauge. Um, at if, if you have an entire set, like you know three piece set, this lasts for twelve seconds. So it's basically like the same as Spike's passive. Well, actually even better than Spike's passive, but duration wise, it's it, it's the same if you have an entire set. Most people might just leave like a one piece or a two piece of this and uh, combine it with some other accessory. But the point is, his passive is going to be there. Um, and, you know, whatever heroes that are coming out in the future, like, as powerful as they are, um, they will most likely want to take advantage of this rage set. So, um, like, you might look at Spike and say, well, yeah, he, he's, he, he's kind of, you know, he's kind of annoying to deal with, but he's not too bad. At least he falls out of favor, so I don't need to get him. Uh, well, unfortunately, you have to figure out how to deal with Spike now in my opinion and the reason you want to figure out now is because when m more powerful heroes that do even more annoying things than him come out and you combine that with his passive you're gonna have a very hard time unless you figure out how to deal with it now where the problem is not as bad as it could be right um, like imagine uh, ha facing an entire team like four different heroes that all have spikes passive um of immortality like how would you deal with that that's it's an OA, right? So uh, that's the reason why I say, you know, figure, let's figure out how to deal with Spike's problem. Right now, it's not too bad. Like, for me, I've been quite lucky. I've gotten quite a few of these legendary plus accessories, but still, um, I only got one of these uh, immortality rate sets. Other people might have two or three, but most people don't have an entire full set, like a, a four-man team of this. So it's not um, it's not too bad. Uh, but anyway, so so let's start talking about it and how to, how to deal with it. Uh, obviously, the very first thing like that comes to mind with dealing about this is is using a hero that removes buffs, right? Um, and there are, there are two different types of AI when it comes to that. Like for example, Spike has a skill himself that removes buffs from buffs from the target. Um, with an AI like Spike, what you would actually do is you would use this skill as soon as it's available. Like if he uses the other two skills and now it's his turn to attack and you know, even if the enemy has a buff or not, he will use it. So unfortunately, this is not the best type of way to remove this because oftentimes, um, unless the enemy has Spike at the forefront and you target Spike right away, usually he lasts a while. Like he might be at the very back or something. And so you might only uh, trigger his immortality like much later in the fight. So you already used the skill to remove buffs and Spike hasn't even, you know, triggered his, uh, his skill yet. So it's not so useful because... Um, you know, you, you, you kind of wasted it without actually removing the immort immortality. Whereas there are other heroes, like for example, Claire, uh, there she is. So her skill, which also removes buffs, she will actually hold on to the skill until an enemy has uh, some kind of buff that she wants to remove. 
So she will, you know, she she will use the other two skills, uh, and then she will just auto attack. And whenever she sees an enemy cast the skill or has some kind of a buff, that's when she will use the remove buff skill. And so that's kind of what you want to to deal with Spike, right? Um, there are only a couple of heroes that I found out that have, uh, you know. A skill like this where they will actually wait until a buff has been cast and then remove it um so there there is you know this legendary clear there's also the green clear which i don't really recommend for pvp because um you know sh she's not uh she doesn't have the stats to to really compete at a higher level uh there's also f for the people that are lucky enough to get her there's also ming who also waits until enemies have buffs on them and then she will cast this to remove buffs and this is a like, like she actually targets all enemies within a within a range, so it's even better. Um, I I don't know of other heroes that can do this. If you guys know, please leave it in the comments. Um, and you know, other people that are watching it, please look look through the comments as well to see if anybody else has commented. Anyone else that uses a skill like this, where they only use the buff removal skill once the buff has been, uh, you know, once an enemy has a buff to remove, because that's that's really what you want. However, there's another way to use this buff removal skill as well for the, like, you know, the, the worst version of it. Um, and that is when you combine it with a revive accessory or a, a hero that has something similar to this revive accessory. So one such hero is Eileen. Um, her passive basically revives her when she's, when she's dead. So when she is revived, she will actually get all her skills on cooldown uh, and she thankfully has this buff removal skill. So what might happen is, you know, you might be fighting against a team with Spike and he might, um, you know, he might kill all, all, like he might pop as a mortal and then he might kill your entire party. But when Eileen comes back, because her uh, all her skills are on cooldown now, sorry, they're off cooldown now, when she comes back, she can now use the skill and remove the uh, immortal buff from Spike or other you know, uh, heroes that have this rage accessory. So that's one one way of kind of dealing with it with heroes that don't have the best AI with, with these buff type skills. So you can use that with Eileen. You can also use it with other heroes that remove buffs, but they don't, um, you know, they don't wait. Uh, so you can you can pair them with a revive accessory to kind of deal with that. Um, so you know, uh, there are off the top of my head, the one I can think of is, is Spike and Eileen. But I, there might be other heroes as well. You might have to uh, go through it to see what what you have access to that can do that. Um, I don't, I don't really remember. I don't recall any off the top of my head that that removes buffs. So if you know of any other heroes as well, leave them down in the comments so people can uh, see it. And you know, if if it's a, if it's something that they can take advantage of, they can also uh, you know use that hero for that uh, reason. Uh, there's another way that I uh, that I can deal with this as well. Um, Spike is, you know, he has immortal, so he will not die, but he is sus susceptible to debuffs. So what I run, like right now, what I'm running in my team is actually just a heavy debuff composition. So um, I'll show you the team that I'm running right now. I've actually been um, changing this team up a little bit, but this is the team I'm running, and like all of them except for Rudy have some kind of CC. Um, like they have stuns and and shocks, and they have like multiple skills that do that. So I'm basically trying to um, stun lock the enemy enemy team, especially if they have a spike. Um, you, sure, he might survive. Like he might, you know, st stay around a little longer, especially if uh, if Ming has used her remove buff to remove like Rudy's buff or something. Uh, they they might uh, spike might stay around, but hopefully he will just be debuffed. Like he will be CC'd, and so he won't actually like even if he takes a while to die, he won't actually be doing anything while he's waiting. Um, so that's what I'm, you know, that's what I'm hoping to to run with this. And you can you can use a similar kind of um, uh, thing to deal with it, right? So you, you can use other heroes that cast CC effects. This is why in the first video I I talked about like the three things that make a good PvP hero is buff removal, which I just talked about because it's going to be like really important to remove spikes or any other heroes that use the rage accessories to remove that passive. is It's really important. Otherwise, it's, you're going to have a hard time. The second thing I talked about was um, having a uh, you know ha having heroes that do CC like status effects because that is basically how you have to deal with this right um, because I mean like if you can't remove the buff you have to just wait for 11 seconds and in those 11 seconds he's gonna have increased attack he's gonna have increased attack speed he's probably gonna pop his ultimate and then you're probably be dead.
unless you also have a spike or you also are running the same things. Um, but you know, you have to deal with somehow. And if you can't remove the buff, the best thing to do is to CC him. So, um, so that, that's why I recommend, you know, uh, running, you know, figure out how to deal with spike. Like if you don't have a team right now, like if you don't have any CC units, if you have like, say Rachel or something, right? Like Rachel is your DPS, Rudy is your tank, and then you're using two healers. That's your PVE team and you don't have anything better. Just run that in um, in arena anyway, see how high you can go. Uh, but in the back of your mind, if you want to do PVP, think about these heroes that will help you to deal with spike. Because Spike might not be around for a while, you know. After a while, he'll be he'll be gone. He'll be replaced by better heroes. But his passive will be around. So you need to think about how you can deal with that if you plan to um, do well in PvP. Because if you don't, I mean, this this is always going to be around. This is going to be a problem. So if you don't figure out how to deal with it, you're going to have a very hard time competing in PvP. Anyway, that's all I have to say right now. Um, I will be doing more videos about PvP as well because, as I said, it's a it's a long topic. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. I don't want to make one huge like hour long video talking about this. So I'm splitting it up into into smaller portions so that hopefully it's more digestible as well. Uh, and if you guys have comments or if you have other methods on dealing with Spike, uh, let me know because that's really interesting to me as well because I see him all the time, even at the top tiers of PvP. Like if you look at the um, I don't know, like the top ten or something. So the rank one has Spike. Uh, rank four has spike. Rank six has spike. Uh, rank eleven, rank twelve. You know, so uh, as you can see, spike is still very common even in the top ranks, right? Um, the reason that I removed spike was actually because I I see a lot of people playing Claire, and um, you know, like spike is not as effective. And since everyone is fighting spike anyway, so I decided I would just go with the CC comp, uh, and a lot of people are kind of built to take out spike. So instead of taking out spike, I I just don't have spike anyway. Instead, I'm using just a heavy CC comp to try to attack them instead. Um, so, uh, you know, that's, that's what I recommend. Um, you also have to use the tools that are available for you, right? So uh, if you look at spike, um, aside from his passive, his ultimate is the thing that's really, really scary. Like the other ones, he has a single target freeze. He has a... Uh, an all attack, sorry, like an AOE freeze, but only 40% chance. And then he has a buff removal, which is not even, he just uses it when he can. So it's not as uh, as dangerous, for example, as like Eileen Fudina, which has like several of these AOE 40% attacks. And she also does like high damage and she has a crazy passive that increases the attack. You, pa you um, put the Rage Immortal, sorry, the Rage Accessory on her. I think she's more threatening than Spike. So, um, because this ultimate is, is the thing that's like very hard to deal with, something else you can do is just use somebody that has uh, um, this accessory. If you're if you're one of the lucky or maybe unlucky, depending on how you look at it, people that have this accessory, the lethargic accessory, which um, decreases the ultimate skill gauge, maybe this is a way for you to approach Spike because uh, if he doesn't cast his ultimate, maybe he's not as threatening, right? If you kill everyone else and he's still, he's the only one left, and his ultimate is what's killing you, maybe this is a way to approach it. So maybe this might be a way to deal with it if if you happen to have this. Because, you know, um, I got one of these accessories when I uh, when I was crafting, you know, because it's just a chance. It's not the top accessory I would have gone for. It's not something I would have farmed for, but I just happen to have it. So if I was going to employ such a tactic, since I have this tool, I can use it. And so maybe if somebody else has tools like that, they can use it. You can spare it with Ming because Ming also decreases the ultimate skill gauge. Maybe you are one of those hero, uh, one of those people that are heavy in the PvE stage right now, and so Shay is one of your main units. Shay also decreases ultimate skill gauge as well. So maybe you can use that as a different way to approach this problem. It's not going to be as effective as some of the other things I talked about because Shay is not a PvP character, but if that's what you have, that's what you have to use, right? So um, just think about, you know, think about Spike. Think about how you can attack him, how you can deal with him. Uh, because this problem is not going away anytime soon. So you might as well start thinking of solutions, start thinking of team compositions and how you can deal with this. Otherwise, uh, as I mentioned, this is this is not going away. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have other questions or comments, uh, let me know down below and I'll see what I can do to help you guys out. Um, but uh, for now, you know, I hope you guys have a great day and it's Christmas Eve. So, uh, or if you don't celebrate Christmas, it's happy holidays Eve, I guess. So, uh, 
enjoy your holidays and i hope you have a great time take care guys bye